Hello, Planning and Development Committee. My name is Kerry Tarasoff. I'm a registered community planner in this province and a registered technologist. Uh, I wish to speak to you today about 6.3.2 and the lease agreement with Prairie Land Park and how Prairie Land Park is uh, circumventing the intent of the lease agreement. The lease agreement is very specific that uh, all the bylaws and laws of the province and the municipality are supposed to be upheld, which includes the zoning bylaw. And since this uh, happens to be today when I'm recording this, uh, seven weeks I've been pushing the city solicitor to put up real proof at all that Prairie Land Park meets the zoning bylaw, and she refuses to do it because I am fairly certain if she tries to do it, it will show very clearly to the general public that they don't meet it. So best not to say a word except that in this circumstance, lots and lots of people are losing their livelihoods. So I think it's incumbent upon the city solicitor to put up real proof to the public that proves the fact that Prairie Line Park is meeting the, the zoning bylaw for ag, including sports on tap bar, the banquet facilities, all of these things, including their change of use. Well, why it's important is because now Prairie Line Park isn't just happy with doing the businesses within their own boundaries, some of which, in my view, they shouldn't even be into. They're taking these businesses off the site, so they don't pay property tax, income tax, really don't pay rent. So they got the least amount of uh, overhead for any business could have. And they're going head to head with our own small business in the city now. That was never the intent of the lease agreement. It was never the intent of the not-for-profit status either. They're not providing a service for the greater good anymore. They're providing a service for the greater themselves. And they're doing it at the detriment of our own business. And you need to understand that because uh, turning a blind eye to this and because it's uncomfortable to talk about it isn't really going to solve the problem. So why are they going off site? How can they do that? They, they don't have the proper zoning to have a commercial business that leaps off the site and engages with other businesses in our city. Even if regardless of the taxes, they don't start out from the zoning that allows commercial ventures like that. And if you say it's an accessory use within their boundaries, well, the constraints of that, that lease and that zoning bylaw should mean that they only stay within their boundaries for whatever use they're pro providing. But as soon as they go off site, they're providing a general commercial business within our city and we're not getting paid for it. And they're competing head on with our businesses that are paying your salary and paying the, to run the city. We should care about them first. The people that are paying the bills should get your first attention, not your last. My name is Kerry Tarasoff. I, I sincerely implore you to make sure that the city solicitor puts up real proof that the zoning bylaw is being met because next week will be eight weeks and I'm not gonna let this go. And I wish that you would make sure that Prairie Land Park stays within the constraints of their boundaries when they operate any business activity. Because when they go off, you are making an unfair playing field and you're subsidizing it for free with our taxpayer dollars. And that is unfair and I don't wanna do it. And I believe most people when they hear about what's really going on won't want it either. And I suspect you won't. Now that you're aware of it and you're fully informed, I believe that you will act appropriately. So that's my hope. Thank you very much. Have a great day.